instead of working with the National Trust. So more people... Before we get to a horrible thing that Tory MP Ben Bradley has said, here's a time when he got royally owned. The occasion? Keir Starmer was calling out the Tories' culture wars. ...at all cost. The Tory party is undertaking a kind of weird McCarthyism, trying to find woke agendas in the very civic institutions they once regarded with respect. There does he mean you, Ben, when he's talking about the weird McCarthyism, trying to find woke agendas in the very civic institutions they once regarded with respect? Very vacuous nonsense, to be honest. The idea, and, and particularly because on a weekend where the Chancellor is talking about the economy and the headroom he's got to be able to support people and cut taxes, he's the one talking about the woke agenda. Nobody else was talking about it. Yeah. Um, I do think that it speaks to a, a cultural challenge for Labour actually that when we've been discussing really important issues today he's got no answers to those he's got a rhetoric around things he thinks he can win on. Starmer had cited the National Trust in that speech you just saw which was directly related to a letter that Ben Bradley had put his name to. Now let's see him getting called out for talking crap. Uh, with a certain groups of people. But ben, you've been on this programme many times talking about exactly these That's issues. I mean, in November 2020, following a report on the connections between uh, colonialism and properties now in the care of the National Trust, including links with historic slavery, you were among the signatories of a letter to the Telegraph accusing the National Trust of being coloured by cultural Marxist dogma, colloquially known as the woke agenda. Hmm? You started it, to use that childish phrase. Um, I think... Um... <laughs> oh, dear Ben, you just got owned. Anyway, when you see Ben walking down the road, giving it all that... Lower taxes, safer streets and better run local services. It's what local Conservatives are known for delivering up and down the country. And your vote on the 2nd of May will decide who is in charge of those services, how much they cost you and who is delivering on your priorities. Remember, he said this. Those who claim benefits should have vasectomies so other taxpayers don't have to provide for their children. Nice one, Ben. Click here for a video on Lord Ashcroft hiding from questions on tax in a toilet.